Let's be honest, GTA Online is over 10 years old, GTA 6 is coming up within the next year or two, so if you're playing this game, you just want to have fun. So today, I'm going to tell you the 10 most fun vehicles in GTA Online. So if you've got a bunch of money saved up in-game, these are vehicles that I would recommend just going and wasting your money on. Let's go. At number 10 is the Ramp Buggy. If you're a fan of Fast and Furious, you've probably seen this one before, and yes, it is as fun as it it looks. I don't think there's a single vehicle in the entire game that gets you more friends than this. This is like the least toxic vehicle in the entire game. If someone sees you driving this thing, you've basically automatically made a new friend. I've had so many random players just keep driving up to me over and over again, wanting me to launch them as far as I possibly can in this thing. And if you've got friends to mess around with, it's actually really fun trying to launch each other on top of like different buildings or launching each other over different bridges, that sort of thing or if you're bored it's just a really fun vehicle to go drive on the opposite side of the highway with watch all of the cars just fly off into the distance behind you see if you can get some of them to blow up this is the type of vehicle that you just pull out when you're bored if you want a few laughs at number nine very similar to the ramp buggy is the phantom wedge this thing is basically a ramp buggy but a truck driving this around in free roam probably won't make you as many friends though because this will actually really damage other players cars but that's okay, not every vehicle needs to get you friends. This is just a really fun vehicle to drive around and cause chaos in. If you really want to cause a lot of chaos with this thing, try and get a 5 star wanted level and just see how many cop and SWAT cars you can absolutely launch or demolish with this. I promise you it'll be a good time. At number 8 is the Raiju Jet. Now this is fun for a few reasons. The first one is this is the fastest jet in the entire game, so obviously that's very cool. If you need to get from point A to B, this is the vehicle you're going to want. But it's actually got a few other capabilities as well that make it very, very fun. First is it's a V. VTOL jet, it can go into VTOL mode so you can take off vertically like a helicopter. It's also got a stealth mode so that you can go off the radar to other players simply by pressing the right button on the D-pad. So if any players are annoying you for whatever reason, just press this button, they'll have no clue where you've gone. And then finally, it's just very, very strong. It's got good guns for a jet. The VTOL mode makes it very easy to land almost anywhere, get in and out of pretty quickly. And all of those features combined just make it one of the most fun vehicles while playing the game. Whether it's PvP, you're just trying to kill other players. Whether it's PvE and you're trying to grind, this makes grinding a lot more fun. It's not often that I recommend most players buy a $5 million vehicle, but yeah, this is probably one of them I would recommend, not only because of its usefulness, but because it's very, very fun. Next on the list, I'm going to cheat and just name a bunch of vehicles, all of the Arena War vehicles. I can't choose one. All of these do very similar things and are extremely fun. There's lots of different things you can do with these vehicles. You can give them a massive scoop on the front so that you can launch other players or ram vehicles out of the way. You can give them a massive jump. You can give them mines that will blow people up. You can put spinning blades on the side of the car so anyone who tries to get in it's just gonna die. And on top of that these things are actually just very powerful as well. You can put guns on them, a lot of different guns. They tank a lot of rockets before they blow up. And if you really want to test the capabilities of these vehicles, take them into Arena Wars, like the actual mode Arena Wars, and you can use them to their full effect. As for their usefulness, I'm not going to say they're the best vehicles in the game, but these are definitely okay options if you're trying to do things like missions or high setups. So along with being very fun, yeah, they're kind of useful as well. At number six, I've got the RC Bandito. This is just a really fun vehicle to troll other players with, going to be honest. When you're in your RC Bandito, you're actually not on the radar so you can sneak up to other players and just ram them or blow up the RC Bandito and kill them and it's just one of those vehicles that other players aren't going to expect you to be in so you can definitely catch some players out by surprise maybe troll them maybe kill them hey that's up to you and whenever I'm playing with a big group of friends this is something I always pull out when my mates aren't expecting it ram them from behind with the little RC Bandito it's hilarious everyone will be laughing and it's actually pretty quick and nimble as well so when your friends are going to try and shoot this thing, it's a bit harder to shoot than you would think. So definitely one I would recommend getting if you've got the money for it and you want to have a bit of fun. Very similar to the Bandito is the Invade and Persuade Mini 
tank. Now, this is a vehicle I have had a lot of fun with over the years. I can't believe they put a remote control tank in the game. It's quite bizarre. Just like the RC Bandito, players are not going to expect you being in this thing. You can put a bunch of guns on this as well, a flamethrower, an alien weapon, or a minigun. I also find it really fun to get five stars with this one as well, and just seeing what the cops try and do to a mini remote control tank is hilarious. They try and ram it off the road, you can just jump over them because yes, this one has a jump as well. One time I pulled this vehicle out with my friends and it took them a solid five or ten minutes to actually kill me because you're off the radar, it's a tank, so yes, it can tank a lot of explosions, and it's got guns on it, so it's kind of hard to take out. There's not much else I need to say, if I haven't sold you on this one already, hopefully you come around on it because this definitely deserves its spot this high on the list. This thing is so much fun. This is one I don't see many people talking about. It's the Terabyte, but in particular, the drone station on the Terabyte. So not only is the Terabyte fun because you can drive it around and use the player scanner, whenever you scan other players, it's going to show you crazy things about them. Like, for example, how many lap dances they've gotten in their entire time playing the game. Something like that is just absolutely hilarious in my opinion. I don't know, maybe I'm just childish. But when you get the drone station on the Terabyte, you can just fly these little drones around and go around and taser other players constantly. This is just about the last thing someone would expect to encounter in GTA Online. So when they're just driving around or walking around and they get tasered out of nowhere, it's hilarious seeing their reaction. Most of the time, they are so confused. They have no clue what's going on and they actually look around trying to figure out what just shocked them. At number two on the list is the Oppressor Mark 1. Yes, the original one not the Mark II, not the hover bike. This is the Oppressor Mark I with the wings and the rocket boost. Now, as you can see in the footage on your screen, I am not actually very good at flying this thing around. But you know what? That's okay because just trying to learn to be good with the Oppressor Mark I is fun in itself. Then if you actually get good at flying the Oppressor Mark I, a lot of players, this is still their primary vehicle just because of how fun it is. Before we get to my most fun vehicle in the entire game, I do want to put an honorable mention because I couldn't find a spot for these in the top 10. And these are the Amani Tech remote control vehicles. So if you go to your agency, any vehicle that can get Amani Tech on it, you can actually turn this into a remote control vehicle as well. So you can drive around your personal vehicle remote control. Now we've spoke about catching players off guard with random vehicles. When you drive up next to a player and ram them with a personal vehicle, then they try and shoot you out of the driver's seat just to see that there is no one in the car, a lot of the time they actually think you're cheating, which I think is very, very funny. On top of that, you can add things like slick mines, and when you turn this into a remote control car, it detonates as well, so you can blow it up and try and kill people. Yeah, this is a very, very fun feature to have. Probably should have made it on the top 10 list somewhere, so I'm just going to put it in the honorable mentions. And then at number one, in my opinion, the most fun vehicle in the entire game is the Scramjet. If you own a Scramjet, you probably know why I'm saying this. This thing is just so fun to drive and, well, try to fly around. One of the most difficult things in the entire game to do is land a Scramjet on top of the Maze Bank Tower. So if you're watching this video, that is my challenge to you. Tag me on Twitter if you can. It's at TGG on YT. If you can make it on top of the Maze Bank Tower with a Scramjet, I'll like your tweet. But seriously though, this thing is so much fun. It's got a massive jump and then a rocket boost. Boost. Whenever all four wheels touch a surface, that boost will start to regenerate, and a lot of high-skilled players can actually jump this from building to building, touch the side of the building, get their boost back, and then launch further up. And if you're going to land on top of the Maze Bank Tower, that's what you're going to have to do. But if you're anything like me, your scramjet for some reason will have like a magnet to water. It seems like every time I launch this thing in the air, it just lands in someone's pool. I don't know what the go is, but for some reason, I always put this thing in the water. Anyway, we'll wrap it up there. If you enjoyed the video, leave a thumbs up. Consider subscribing for more stuff like this. Stay safe, have some fun, and I'll see you in the next video. Boys.